welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. I've got new lighting directly in my face, but I'm hoping that it will show the colors more accurately um, than before. I just will have to squint sometimes. So I'm just gonna do a fun little thing today. I wanted to do like, I want to show you guys how to get really popping cells. There's many different ways to do it, um, but this way is one of them. Maybe I'll do a popping cell series. Um, and we're going to do like water ocean explosion, hopefully. I don't know. That's in my head, but we don't know. So I'm just going to use a cute little six incher. Um, this is a cradled wood board. Here's the back. Um, I really like them because I don't really prime them and they don't warp. Really cute. So let's talk about colors. I'm going to be using some new colors today from TLP, this little piggy pigments. They're super awesome this is called blue eyes and it's this really how would i explain it it's just a really intense light blue color and then another favorite is called lemon sorbet so it looks maybe you can't see in the light but it looks super um yellow however when you it's a little thick when you um put it down it really turns gold so you have these really nice gold specks to it so I'm enjoying this one too. Next, I'm just going to put a drizzle of this Amsterdam Sky Blue. It's an opaque, so you want to, it's a little thick too. I think my paints have been sitting out a little bit. Um, you want to be, use your opaques very sparingly. I have a video way back there um, about how to layer opaques and semi-transparent and transparents for different kind of things. But see, I'm saying how it's thick. I have a another video, video 81 or 82, how to mix up your pouring medium and stuff. But I like it when it sits up for about two seconds and this is about three seconds. So I'm just going to thin it a bit with my gloss. And because you really wanna make sure everything is the perfect consistency. So see, that's a little better. It's staying up for about two seconds. Okay, now we want to use Sapphire, another piggy. It's gonna be really sparkly. Now, I put titanium white in my pouring medium. This is gonna create really some cool peacock cells with the white. Um, so, only sparingly we use that. And then also, golden fluid phthalo turquoise, also very sparingly. I'm gonna be using two cell activators. Now, I use the Shelly Art recipe, which is four parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint, uh, depending on the paint that you use. Um, I'm gonna be using titanium white and uh, this Payne's Gray. Now, I really suggest for all you newbies, or even not newbies, who really wanna bloom but can't, to take the Shelly Art class because I can give you all the recipes and ratios, but if you've tried blooming, you know, it's not just about the recipe. It's really about knowing and learning and about consistencies, layering, blowing. There's so many different steps that are so hard. I have a 15% discount in my description. Let's get painting. Um, all right, why don't I just pause you for a minute, fix my camera down, and then we'll get going. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so I have my Sherwin-Williams color to go, tricorn black down. Um, and let's start layering. So I'll start with the blue eyes. I don't want to put too much paint down. Uh, it'd be nice to have negative space, but it could be too small for that for me. We'll see some of this lemon sorbet. I'm going to put a lot down because I love her. Okay. And I'm going to do just a tad of this sky, oops, <laughs> sky blue. And then I'll do the sapphire. And I'm going to do a tad of the white, even just on the outsides is fine. Okay. Then a bit of the turquoise. You can see my paint is really, there's, I'm putting too much on. 
<laughs> there's going to be no negative space, guys. So normally, normal people would do like a third of their piece. But first of all, I never do this small anyway, so I'm not used to it. But also, apparently, I just waste a lot of paint. All right, I'm mixing up my titanium white. Let's see. It's looking a little thin for me. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna put a, just a bit more of white in there. Um, I like to, I like to, I like it to hold up for a bit. You have to mix it really well. So let's see how we're doing. Yeah, it has a little more body, which I like, because I don't want it to sink down right away. There we go. And the Payne's gray. All right. Okay. I'm not even going to touch <clears throat> the edge there. So, you can see some cool action in the middle. Um, so, now, before I spin it, because there's some areas and things I don't like, I'm going to take my little skewer and just move things around a bit. Not too much. I don't really like to warp them because um, it makes me too sad to ruin my cute little friends. And you can see where that black pillow is up, so it's telling you that my, some of my consistencies are not the same. So I'm going to guess that my first two pigments I put down might be a little too thin or I just blew too hard. So hopefully we can fix that, right? I'm just making some interest around the edges where there still might be paint left. I don't know. If this is doing anything. Okay. Let's see. So I like the, look at this cute edge here. All right. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh. So right now I like this edge. This one's a little boring. So I'm gonna tilt it, well this is small, so normally I would tilt it a little bit, but my little hack, where is it, is I'm going to take, if I can find it, this plastic knife, and I'm gonna prop it up, okay? So when I spin it, this edge will go down, oh, more, hopefully. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cute. It's a cute little lady. And the paint isn't moving too much, so I think we're good to go. I really like this edge. Um, so you can see you got 3D peacock cells happening. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it just, using both cell activators really bring cool effects to it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.